It's the second day of the professionals competition and we're in Halifax with Brian and Lisa from Disco Kitchen. Tonight we're going to be serving fun, fresh and tasty food. It's more street food-esque, it's more relaxed. Welcome to the disco. Thanks very much. What's everyone expecting? It could be a country pub somewhere. No. Nope. It could be a trendy little bistro somewhere. <laughs> no. It could be, uh, you know, street food place with loads of crazy music. Wow, spot on. I think it's going to be a bit of a curveball. I think it's going to be like weird food. Weird like a runny hen's egg on a wild garlic velouté. That's a thick soup to you and me. It's the time of year, you know, for, for the next month or so, everyone's going to go wild garlic crazy. I know I am, and so is Brian. The smells around here are incredible. If you like garlic, right, enough of that. Listen, you don't see velouté on, on, no. on many menus at all these days. So, yeah, yeah that's definitely his, his classic point coming through. Back at the stove, the wild garlic goes in the pot before Brian makes a start on the roux for his velouté. Salted butter into a warm pan, always using a wooden spoon. Oh, why is that? Why? I don't, I don't know why. Right, then. To the melted butter, he adds flour. Just going to cook that out for another minute or so. Before adding stock, double cream, then blitzing in the wild garlic. And onto the eggs. Pressure's on for a soft runny boiled egg. Yeah, you know they're not easy like. to do. Yeah. Deep pan, so the egg's got lots of room to breathe. Bit hard to breathe in boiling water. <laughs> they're cooled, peeled and wrapped in sausage meat. So, in fact, they're scotch eggs. This process is called panning. I'll probably get beaten up for that pronunciation, pronunciation but I'm, from, I'm a northerner. Pané is a French culinary term for dipping in flour, egg and breadcrumbs. He'll deep fry them before serving. They're also adding a parmesan tuile, and Lisa's braving the kitchen for the first time. Done, chef. Thank you very much. Is that OK? Is that to your standards? Well done, no. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, please. Yes, chef. Have you finished yet, Lise? Uh, yeah, I think so. Are they all the same? Um... Well, they better be. The one on the end's a bit small. Well, that's got half the amount to that, and that, and to that, so... <laughs> so it, well, no, let's just... We'll, we'll, I'll bake them and just, we'll see. Once baked, they'll be served on top of the egg. It's night two of the professionals' competition in Yorkshire. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Where long-term partners Brian and Lisa are hosting two other duos at their restaurant, Disco Kitchen. Upstairs, Brian's deep frying his scotch eggs. How long is it going to be? As long as it takes. As long as it takes. There you go. Elise, can you just uh, well, wipe any dirty finger marks off these bowls? Yes, chef. Good job, Lisa. Downstairs, the others are checking out the venue. I can see Brian gets behind here on his deck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Giving it some of that. Yeah. When I turned up, it wasn't the restaurant I expected. It was cool for Halifax. I think. What are you saying? <laughs> Sorry, Halifax people. Beautiful, I love it. Look Absolutely the love it. It was yeah. really nice. Back in the kitchen, let's have a look at those eggs. This is make or break. It's a soft, runny, boiled egg. And if it's not, I mean the doo doo. I'm happy with that. They go in with the velouté and are topped with a parmesan crisp. I've just realised I haven't put soup spoons out. Have you done it now? I'll run down, shall I run down uh, yeah, and do it? Of yeah, course, yeah. Sorry. You can't serve the food before the cutter. Yes, chef. And there it is, a hen's egg with wild garlic velouté. Thank you very much. Thank you. Honest feedback to myself is most welcome. Righto. It's super delicious and not what I expected as a velouté. It's absolutely beautiful. But as a starter, I just found it a bit, a bit, a bit big. From the menu description, it says that is not what I was expecting. I thought it was really tasty. I yeah. really enjoyed it, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fabulous colours, yeah. flavours, but it was very filling for a start. And those parmesan crisps, they're so lovely. Did you actually use the parmesan crisp that I did? No, no, you made them. Well, this is not normally it's involved. Not my, ha not my habitat. Not, 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 I didn't even know where to stand. I was so awkward. I felt yeah. really awkward. I didn't know where to stand because it's his domain. And has he been bossing you around? You know what? He's been really, really nice today. Like, yeah. You sure about that? I, yeah. Well done. You want some water? You want some water? Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm guessing, yeah. I'll get some lemon water. water. Yeah. Well, that didn't last long. What's that? We don't want uh, talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not listening. I think the impression I got tonight, it, it was a quite a stressful service. It's just so much passion and so much yeah. desire to get it right that yeah. it just throws you completely mm. awry. Moving on. So why is it called Disco Kitchen? The Disco Tech was one of the first in environments where pe different classes of people, different cultures of people rub shoulders with one another. 
So the word disco to me means eclectic mix of something. Gastronomy is from different parts of the globe. Yeah. So that was the interpretation. So yeah, it's something that doesn't make sense, but if it makes sense to you, Brian, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Disco yeah. kitchen to me you should have roller girl, be yeah. scooting yeah. around the place and having a little bit of. Uh... They could do some great roller girl things here, yeah. couldn't they? Yeah. I thought it was well received. Did anybody dislike it? No. So that's, in my opinion, Laura Ravage just suggested it was a winner.